hey 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 blooming beauties welcome or welcome back to my channel y'all today's video we're just going to get straight into it on this day of soaping my head was everywhere but in the game at least in the beginning so you'll see in the next few clips but i went to bring my bowl to the double boiler and then i forgot to add one of my butters which is my kokum butter so the bottom of the bowl is still wet because i did not wipe it trying to rush and y'all just listen Yeah, because not the scale about to go in the water. Yes, that was literally about to be my reality. But life must go on. So here I am adding my oils. And of course, I always separate them, y'all. I don't know. I've been doing that since the beginning of soaping. And then I grab my scale just to put it back. <laughs> but okay. Anyways, if you all haven't noticed in all of my videos, this scale that I'm using does not go to the tenths place or the hundredths place. So I bring out the black scale anytime that my recipe calls for it. And I know I should just purchase a new scale and I will eventually. Okay, so now I am measuring out my lye. And in this recipe, y'all, I decided to use Tussa silk. So I haven't used silk and forever maybe years so i decided let's try it out so basically what you do mix your lye into your water of course just like you normally would and then you throw your silk in there and that little piece of silk will slowly start to dissolve so you just keep mixing keep stirring keep mixing keep stirring and eventually you will get something like this you can still see a little piece of it hasn't fully dissolved but it eventually will you can almost immediately notice a difference in your lye solution it's more silky more velvety so now i'm measuring out my sodium lactate and an essential oil blend and my tip is to place all of the oils that you intend to use together and then smell them all at once to kind of get an idea of what it would smell like in this clip i have my mica and I got these little bottles from Amazon. I'd have to find a way to link it in the description. And I just shake it up to avoid having to use so many containers. And these are the colors that I thought that I would need. But in the black bottle, that is activated charcoal, not mica. So because these are sugar cookies, I did use lemon powder. So I made these soaps the day before and I included the lemon powder into the batter and it gave more of a sugar cookie look opposed to adding it to the oil, which gave it a snickerdoodle look. Either way, sugar cookie, snickerdoodle, they're both cookies. So I guess it's just a preference on what you would prefer to do if you intend to make this soap. So now I am mixing in my lye with my oils once I've got them to the correct temp, which is about 90 or so degrees. Now for my indie cold process video, I assumed that the bottom was that weird texture because of the different temperatures after pouring hot soap on cold soap. But I learned with this soap, it wasn't that. The only thing that is similar, because some of these soaps were crumbly the same way that the indie soap was. So the common denominator is titanium dioxide. I think that I was using way too much titanium dioxide in the indie cold process soap and this one, which is what caused that weird texture and that's my final answer and i'm sticking to it okay <laughs> so now this is the part of the video where i bow out for a while and i let you all enjoy and then i'll come back and provide some additional commentary all right enjoy y'all
I am back, so let's have a chat. So the soaps that you all just see me decorate, those were the ones decorated with only colorant. And I know, I already know what y'all are thinking. That is way too much. And yes, it is way too much colorant, which is something that I learned throughout this process. So these soaps here are the ones that I created the day before. And in this squeeze bottle, as you can see, there is a color difference. This one has soap and mica in it. So this is the opposite of the wet on wet technique. I allow the soaps to technically dry and then I'm working on top of it. And this is a technique that I will be doing again. Hint, hint, maybe Valentine's Day in the next holiday. Oh, that green one is nice. And then for the rest of the soaps, I did let my daughter decorate the rest of the sugar cookies and she loved doing it as she should. So I did have leftover batter, which I put into this soap mold. And honestly, I just used the same picture because these leftovers would probably be for me or family members because I don't know a single person that would not be happy to get soap, free soap at that. So here I am with the squeeze bottles again. Uh, for this one, I wouldn't say it's too much mica, only because of the amount of soap there is compared to the 1.7 ounce cavity for the cookies. I think this design, like just the colors, reminds me of Christmas and maybe was it the 60s or the 70s where the colors weren't as loud and bright, but they were kind of muted and you'll see the design up close. So now I'm going to be unmolding the cookies and when I unmold the cookies, you will all see kind of how it's too much mica it's too dense and by dense i mean it's kind of like a dip that you can see from the colorant so you can't see it with that one or that one you can definitely see it with the chocolate chip cookie and a few other ones but these designs they're so nice and beautiful i cannot wait to make these soaps again like literally i cannot wait This one right here I sprayed this cookie with so much alcohol this thing is still drunk today okay and I should have done that with all of them to avoid that soda ash because they're cookies you can't be ashy and be a cookie that just don't make sense but anyways y'all we are coming to the end of the video I hope that you all enjoyed the video and like always you're already here you may as well subscribe I appreciate it of course comment like subscribe but thank you for your support y'all and i hope to see you all in the daisy field the next time bye